This is a paid advertisement for Kipo in the Age of Wonder Beasts. <laughs> Apologies in advance, everyone. There's a giant mutant parakeet adorably destroying all of my stuff. Let's get into the episode, shall we? I'm Samantha, and this is what they got right with Kipo in the Age of Wonder Beasts. Adorable. Yes, that's the word. A whimsical apocalypse, so colorful and bright. Give a Wendy and you wonder be so what they got right. Kipo in the Age of Wonder Beasts, coming to Netflix, takes place after Kipo is forced to leave the safety of her underground home to team up with other survivors on the Earth's surface. For creator Rad Seacrest, he found inspiration in two of the most epic shows of all time. Game of Thrones and The Walking Dead. No wonder Kipo has awesome survival skills and a brave spirit. But zombies had nothing on one of the show's coolest inspirations of all, skateboarders. Some characters from the show were inspired by the creator's skateboarding friends. Fingers crossed that Kipo encounters a mutated hawk named Tony. Known for its unique storytelling and visuals, Kipo pushes the envelope with its stunning animation. But its style wasn't supposed to be so unique. Originally, the Kipo team thought its angular style would be too difficult to animate. They were all set to change it to a simpler, more classic look. Much like I was when I was second guessing whether or not I should get bangs. But just in the nick of time, a studio executive noticed a poster on Rad's wall and demanded the show be done in the same angular style, no matter how challenging it would be. And what we got as a result is a unique visual style that defies expectations. The bangs in the mullet work for me too. Not many people know this, but Benson's character did a full 180. He wasn't always supposed to be a kid. He was originally supposed to be a super buff old dude with a beard. They probably changed his design because his top button kept popping. On second thought, that could be a pretty good weapon. Age of Wonder Beasts is filled with so many Wonder Beasts that some of them couldn't make it into the show. One character who didn't make the cut was a silkworm who tailored everyone's clothes. But it looks like the characters are doing just fine fashion-wise without a silkworm. Another Wonder Beast that almost ended up in the show was a parrot. But this parrot didn't want a cracker. This parrot wanted a smackdown because it was a luchador. One, two, three, one, two, three. But I want a smackdown. Without question, the wackiest Wonder Beast that almost made it into the show was a hippo who made pink artisanal cheese. Why pink? Hippos have pink milk. Although they didn't need this character, Hippo's legacy will forever live on in my delicious pink grilled cheese sandwich. I'll never forget you, Hippo, that almost became a character on Kipo. For a show that takes place in a whimsical apocalypse, Kipo and the Age of Wonder Beasts, at its heart, is a show about coming together despite our differences. Together with her new friends, Kipo changes the world in the face of difficult odds. Just like my friends and I when we decided to befriend mutant parakeets. Thanks again to DreamWorks Animation for funding this episode. And thanks for watching What They Got Right. Be sure to check out Kipo and the Age of Wonder Beast coming to Netflix. Bangs and a mullet really is a good look.